Season 17 is getting closer and closer by the day, and there's big plans and changes for the Hunter class. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna talk about exotic armor for the Hunter that you may wanna use in Season 17 of Destiny 2. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos. Also, towards the end of this video, I will announce the winner of the Cinch PS5 Pro versus Scuf Reflex FPS custom gaming controller. So stay tuned. Season 17 brings a lot of changes to the game. Some are good and then some are, well, not so good. It would take me forever to explain all of the changes, but in short, we are getting a lot of nerfs. We are getting some buffs. There are going to be more hidden attributes like airborne and many more to come. I will put a link in the description to the 12 that Bungie specifically spoke about all of these changes. As of this video, it is still unsaid by Bungie if Arc or Solar 3.0 will be coming to season 17. With that said, I am only going to focus more on relevant exotics for this video. And if we do get an update on the other 3.0 versions of the subclasses, then I will make an updated video. One of the biggest announcements to hit Destiny is the upcoming Airborne attribute. This attribute will be a hidden attribute, which means that we won't be able to see it in game. Kind of like how aim assist and recoil direction work now, and we will only be able to see it on third party websites like light.gg and a few others. Let's go ahead and talk about one of the most nauseating nerfs for season 17, which for the hunters is the stompies. Stompies are getting a negative 50 penalty while airborne, regardless of what weapon you are using. And that is negative 50 to all weapons while airborne. And this is huge, no matter how you look at it. However, the key word is being airborne. I feel that Stompies will still be a heavily used exotic for hunters, even if this is a gigantic nerf to the exotic. The reason being is because Hunters will just switch up their play style and instead of jump, we will just go ahead and slide all over the place. And this is including around corners and it pretty much will not be affected by the negative 50 penalty while being airborne because, well, you're not in the air. You will still get all of the benefits from hydraulic boosters, which is increased sprint speed and slide distance. Pair stompies with a shotgun that has slide shot or a fusion rifle that has slideways and you can still use stompies without any issue. Just don't try to jump and shoot. And if you do, make sure you have added damage to your target like throwing knives, throwing a grenade, or following up with a melee after you shoot in the air. It's just gonna take a little bit more to kill your target from the air, so my advice is go ahead and stick to the ground. However, if you are in fact a hunter that actually relies on being in the air heavily, for all of your kills, then you can't go wrong with Foe Tracer. This exotic gives you a plus 20 to all weapons while in the air. You also mark targets and deal more damage to low health marked enemies. And if you're into sidearms, you can actually use the Mechanist Trick Sleeve, which gives you plus 50 airborne to sidearms and you get an increased sidearm ready and reload speed. If you're critically wounded and you actually swap to a sidearm, you'll increase its damage as well. But what if you're not into sidearms? Then you can go ahead and try out the sealed Ahamkara's grasps, which gives you a plus 50 to all weapons for five seconds after a melee hit and dealing melee damage reloads your current equipped weapon. Then you have exotics like the Oath Keeper, which gives you plus 40 to bows while in the air and bow charges can be held indefinitely. If you're into hand cannons, then you can go ahead and use the Lucky Pants, and this gives you plus 20 while airborne to all hand cannons after readying them. You also get the added benefits from Illegally Modded Holster. Now, if being in the air isn't something that you care for, or if you don't want any airborne penalties, then there are a few exotics that I would actually look into. The Renewal Grasps got a huge grenade nerf, where when you are wearing them, your grenade cooldown takes longer to charge going from 62 seconds to 152 seconds and any outgoing damage to enemies that are inside your dust field grenade 
while you are wearing the renewal graphs is reduced from 50% to 20%. So this means that the TTK for an enemy that is inside your dust field while you are actually using the renewal graphs will just take a little bit longer to kill. It might be a good time to look at other stasis exotics like the Mask of Bacchus. In short, it replaces your stasis dodge with a longer range, fast moving shift that partially cloaks you in your animation. And after shifting, it also gives you increased arc weapon damage and you deal even more damage to enemies that are slowed or frozen. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a heavy win to me. If stasis is not your cup of tea and you want to stick to Void 3.0, then you have a few viable options. You can use the Omni Oculus or Orpheus rig with Mobius Quiver in PvP or Star Eater skills in PvE. But we also have exotics that don't belong to any specific weapon or subclass, like Frosties and Gemini Jester, which are still good viable exotics to use in Destiny 2. There are tons of options for exotics for hunters to use, and it really comes down to your playstyle and the build that you want to actually make. Me personally, I will probably still use Stompies and not jump in the air as much or at all, which I'm completely fine with, or I actually may use the Mask of Bacchus and make a stasis build for my hunter for both PvE as well as PvP. There's a lot to think about when it comes to theory crafting before season 17 is released and who knows when Solar or Arc 3.0 will be released, but I do not think it will be in season 17 because there definitely needs to be a TWAB explaining all of the changes to come and we haven't got one of those yet. Anyway, to all of the hunters down there, let me know down in the comments which exotic you plan to use as of season 17's release. That is, if we do not get Arc or Solar 3.0. Now, let's go over to the picker wheel so it can actually pick the winner of the custom controller contest. Since there are only three names, I will go ahead and put each name in three times. And the winner is... Skunk616! Skunk, I will contact you via email and you have 48 hours to reply. And if not, I will go ahead and choose another winner. And congratulations on winning the contest, but I will have other contests in the future, so stay tuned. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.